Hi guys, it's Jamie and today I have my September favorites for you, but first I wanted to do a quick update and let you guys know why I haven't really made a video in a while, although it hasn't been that long, but I did go to New York and it was so much fun. I was there for four days. I went and saw 39 Steps on Broadway, which is a play and it was really funny. And um, I didn't get to do too much shopping because when I was on my way to Soho to go shopping, I left my cell phone in the cab that brought me there. So I cut my shopping trip short. I only made it to one place and it was called So Good Jewelry. And it's on Broadway and it was a cute little kind of discount jewelry store. Here's like the little savings business card thing that they give you. And um, I made it there and then I realized I lost my phone so I had to head back to my hotel. But I did get this cute little bracelet. It's like a buckle wrap around white leather strap with some grommets on there. It's really cute. And then I got some of those nice um, round pretty earrings. I like these because they're really delicate and like see-through. So picked those up and this was like 12 and these were like $4. So that was pretty cool. Um, there's my little update. So now I'll get started with the September favorites. And as always, I want to talk about, you know, a few random makeup products and then some Lush products. So why don't we talk about the Lush stuff first and here's some pictures of the product. And the first thing is the I Love Juicy Shampoo, which looks like this. It's got a great smell. It's very um, citrusy, mango-y, and it's just really good. I love this shampoo. Um, it's great for, like, if you have a lot of product built up in your hair, so I'm loving this a lot. And I use this about once a week just to kind of remove, like I said, any product buildup that I may have. And I just love the smell. This is a great shampoo by Lush. And then another one of my favorites this month is Smitten. And it is a hand lotion that looks like this. I've been using this a lot more than I have in the summer. And I think it's because it's got this nice, warm, kind of almondy smell to it. And um, it kind of dries matte, but it's really moisturizing. And I just as it starts, because it's starting to get old here, cold here, we have our heat on. So this is great for when your hands get dry. And I love the smell. It's very fall, almondy, warm scent. So I've been using that a lot lately. And then some soaps that I've been using um, a ton of is Porridge. And this is the old one. I thought I had the new one when I first used it. It looked like one side because the new ones will only have one side to seeds. But this is the old one. Mine's like chocked full of them. I like this. It's exfoliating and it again has that nice kind of warm um, fall scent because it's like molasses and syrup. And it's just, it's such a good, nice, sweet subtle scent. And then another one, I have just this little piece of the Carmen Miranda soap. I got this um, as a freebie in a order my mom sent me that I'll be showing you soon. So it smells so good like kiwis. Uh, it's so light and fresh and florally and I have this little bit and I'm like afraid to use it. I just need to order more because it is retro so you can only get it online. And then lastly, I wanted to show you guys what my mom sent me. So here's a picture of what it looked like when it came in the mail. And it is the Art of Bathing gift set. It comes in this cute polka dot hat box. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you saw my picture from the day I got it. And I just kind of recycled that picture now. But it comes with all this great stuff for the bath, mainly just um, bath bombs and bubble bars. That's pretty much it. You get an avo bath. It's the green one. I wrapped mine in plastic bags so the scent wouldn't mix. And you get the Supernova, Champagne Supernova. It's pink. It's got confetti in it. I like that one. You get a sex bomb. That's the jasmine one that turns your tub that hot magenta pink with the little wax rose in it. And you get a butterball bath bomb. And mine was broken. This was in the middle of the package when it came and it was broken into three pieces. But that's cool. It'll make it last longer. The last bath bomb that came in there was the Hagen bath. And it's this pink bath bomb. And it's kind of pepperminty smelling. It's retro. I've never used it before, but I think it's like called Hagen Bath, like the ice cream, because it's like a cool, refreshing bath with all the mint. So I'm excited to do a cocktail for you guys with this. And it came with a bunch of bubble bars, the Comforter, Hot Milk, Bathos, Pop in the Bath, the Ma Bar, Ooh. and one that has a little sugar cube. It smells like um, Honey, I Wash the Kids. And then the Karma bubble bar as well. My mom sent me this little card in there and it says, Thanks for introducing me to Lush. I love you and the product. So I thought that was so cute. 
So, um, something I'm loving, I got this this month, and I just think this is a great gift. So those are the Lush products that I really love for this month, and now I am going to show you some pictures of the random makeup products that I'm really loving for the month of September, so here those are. So the first thing I want to talk about is this little MAC quad that I put together. I went to MAC before I left for New York just to get some grays because I really don't have any grays. And while I was there, I noticed the fall, winter little palette that they had put together in one of these quads. And it was all grays, but they had a heavy blue undertone to them. So I kind of just decided I'd put together my own. I don't like to wear a lot of blue. I think it makes my um, under eye circles stand out a little bit more. So I tend to shy away from that. So I decided I would make my own. And I chose the colors Loof, Vex, Copper Plate, which is my favorite, and Print. And here's the swatch of those. So on top you have print, and then there's copper plates, and then there's vex, and then there's floof. So just some really nice, pretty colors. And I use them on this look that I have on today. I'm wearing just these four colors, nothing else. And I just love this palette. I love these colors, and I'm just really excited about that. So I've used this almost every day since I got it. I haven't even put in these because I just bought the little pots. I haven't put in these into my palette yet just because I'm leaving it in here because it's so easy for me to grab on a day-to-day -day basis and I've been using it so much. And then the next thing that I've been loving and this is again something I brought with me to New York and it's the Black Track Fluid Line by MAC. I think I've talked about this before but some people don't like this and I really love it. It really gives you a precise line and it's easy to build. I don't know if you guys can see but it's easy to build and I really like this eyeliner. I can just show you right now how it kind of works. It's kind of a bad line but I really like this um, and it stays on well but it's not really hard to get off like the Liquid Last by MAC so it's another thing for MAC and this is kind of small but it's just these little clear jars that you can buy and they unscrew and they're stackable and I took these on vacation with me. I put a little bit of my Cetaphil um, face lotion in one and then I put a little bit of my Icon eye cream from Benefit in the other and it's a great way especially with the new rules of so many ounces of liquids and gels that you can bring on the plane and everything. This is just a great way um, for traveling because they don't leak and a great way to avoid having too much product with you that you don't need. So another favorite came very much in handy in my trip and I was just looking around at the store and I was happened to pass these so I'm glad I picked these up. The next thing is, <clears throat> the next thing is a hair product and this is the Bumble and Bumble Spray Demode Hairspray. It comes in this bottle, this pretty purple bottle and it's a very light flexible hold hairspray and it's great to like spray it on your hand and then you can kind of like pat down any flyaways that you may have and it works really well with looking natural at the same time. Um, the smell's okay. It's not the greatest smell, but it's not bad. So I'm loving this. And then and the next thing is a drugstore product, and this is my Lash Blast Mascara in very black. And it's the one that comes in this orange tube. I love this mascara. I'm using this more often than my MAC Plush Lash. This is just a great drugstore product. Again, I brought this with me to New York in case something happened to it. I could, it just easily pick it up at the drugstore. And I love this. I've been using it every day since. So this is a great mascara. The last thing that has worked my way into my kind of nighttime regimen of before I go to sleep, um, when I wash my face and everything, I've been putting on this Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment, which looks like this. And I really like this because when I wake up in the morning, I can still feel the product on my lips. It's not something that wears off really easy. So it's great to put on before you go to sleep. So um, there are my September favorite makeup products. Oh, and there was one more thing I wanted to mention in my update that I forgot, and this is kind of in response to LaPook's video. Her MAC 187 brush just recently fell apart, and my cats decided that they wanted to chew on my brushes. This is the Benefit Fantail brush, which is, like, expensive. And look what this cat did. It's like, oh, my God, crazy. 
and this one, this is my 129 brush. I'm so sad. I love this blush brush. And look what this cat did to it. And that's my namesake. It's my cat. His name is Bam. And that's what my YouTube name is after. So I can't believe he did this to me. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the sidebar. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.